Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how to crochet this colored neck warmer using a very simple acrylic yarn. I bought it some months ago in Tiger Store. It is a multicolored yarn and in this cane we can find these beautiful colors from this light pink to the gray and this almost red at the end. This cane is 120 grams, the recommended hook is four and a half, but I'm going to use a five millimeters crochet hook as my tension is quite tight. We start making a foundation with chains, working a multiple of 10, because the stitch I'm going to use needs this multiple. I'm working 110 chains and then I'm going to check that uh, this number is correct for my size. working a slip stitch in the first chain. Okay. And then we start with the first row and we make three more chains to replace the first double crochet. In this same stitch, I work a double crochet and then two chains and two double crochet, all in the same stitch. So we have two double crochet, two chains and two double crochet. Then we work two chains and we skip four stitches. One, two, three, four and in, in the next chain I work a double crochet. I make two chains, I skip four stitches again, one, two, three, four, and I work the same group I made at the beginning. So in the next chain, I work two double crochet, two chains and two double crochet. Okay, and so we continue working two chains we skip again four stitches and in the next chain we work a um, double crochet. Okay. Two chains again. And you can see the sequence with a group. We skip four stitches. We work a double crochet and we have 
a separation made by two chains, then we skip four stitches again, we have the separation and the group. Okay. So we arrive at the end of the row, we work the last double crochet, the last two chains, and we close the row with a slip stitch on the third chain. So we have the second row. This row is practically the same as the first. The only difference is that now uh, we start with the double crochet in the middle of the group in the two chain space. So we have to reach the middle of the first group to work the double crochet and uh, for this we work a slip stitch in the next double crochet and then in the space we work another slip stitch. Now we have to work three chains to replace the double crochet. So one, two, three chains and then two more chains to make the separation. And then we reach the next double crochet and in this stitch we work the group. So we work two double crochet, two chains, and two double crochet. Okay. Then two chains, we reach the group, and over the group in the middle, in the two chain space, we work a double crochet. Again, the separation with two chains and over the next double crochet, we work the group. With two double crochet, two chains and two double crochet. And then two chains and the double crochet over the group. Okay, and so we can continue like this until the end of this second row. And at the end we will work the last group on the last double crochet, the last two chains, and then we will close the row with a slip stitch on the third chain. Okay, I'm at the end of the second row, and so I worked the last two chains, and now I close the row with a slip stitch on the third chain that I made at the beginning. And so also this second row is done and now we can start with the third row. We will work a group over the first single crochet. So we work two double crochet, two chains, and two double crochet. Then we have again two chains, the single crochet in the two chain space, two chains and a group over the next double crochet. 
and we will continue like this for all the rows we need. And this is the final result. I worked 26 rows and I reached uh, 40 centimeters, while the circle of the cowl is about 70 centimeters. The result is really nice and elegant because this lace stitch gives to the cowl a pretty look. The work also was really fast because uh, it took me just a few hours and I used all the skein which was 120 grams. You can use the cowl in this simple way or if you want you can make it double to make it warmer and heavier. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video, if so, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see all upcoming videos. I also apologize for my English, but it isn't my native language, <laughs> so I hope that my explanation was good enough. See you on next Sunday with a new crochet tip or a new stitch and next week with another tutorial. Thank you very much and happy crochet. Bye bye.